What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine Pack tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to customize your UI and widgets with different images so you can bring them to life. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on Winbox. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and go ahead and right click, go and create a new widget blueprint. Now of course, if you already have your own widget created and you want to change the, the images and stuff of your widget, you can do so. I'm just creating a new one to demonstrate this. So we go ahead and say use a widget that will be underscore test, for example. This is my name. Go ahead and open it up. So the first thing I drag on here is going to be a canvas panel just so I can just place things on the area over here. So basically, today I'm going to show you three of the most um, common ways, well, three ways of, of chain UI basically in an image, in a progress bar and in text, okay, which are basically the most uh, typical, okay, the ones they're probably going to use the most. So first of all, let's start with an image. Let's go ahead and drag it over here and let's put it to be like 200 and 200. So it is exactly a square. Now, of course, this will depend on the resolution and uh, aspect radio of your image and stuff. Anyway, so what we have to do is go ahead and select the image and you will see that we have here in the details panel an appearance section. So what we want to do is go into brush and then you will see an image slot. So we could go ahead and select this one and then search the um, you know, the image that you want. Of course, I have already imported some images and then you can just go ahead and select it and you can see that now it will basically go ahead and appear on our canvas. Um, there's different things as changing the image size and the, uh, the tint so you can customize a bit as you would like. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover the progress bar. So if I drag in a progress bar and make it a bit bigger, okay, not like that yet, you will see that um, we can increase a bit the percentage over here and you can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the background. So you will see a similar thing uh in style you will see that we have the fill image and background in my case i'm gonna change the background but of course it will work for both and you will see that we have an image slot again we can just go ahead and you search the image that you want to put and then select it now you will see that in some cases it might be stretched this depends on the image resolution and stuff but there are ways to actually go ahead and fix this we can go into the draw us and now there are different options we can say border which will actually fix it. And then there's different ones as image and round box. So as you guys gonna use border because I mean, it's the one that better fix this. Now you can see that the resolution will kind of change depending on this. Well, this is because of, yeah, border is, is a bit buggy. Or well, it's basically a, a different method of drawing it. As you can see, it will draw a three by three border and stuff depending where you are on the screen. So maybe it's nothing that you want to use. But what you want to do is basically get a um, like a slider, the, the whole width and length of your uh, slider, basically. Okay? And then lastly, I'm going to show you how to change the font of this text over here. So, of course, as you know, we have the appearance again and we can change the colors and stuff. But what we can do is also go ahead and change the size and then the uh, typeface. So it's going to be italic, light, uh, regular or bold and then we're going to change the font family now in unreal engine you have three automatically which is roboto android uh, sans mono but as i did with the images you can just go ahead and import them and just by literally dragging them into your content browser as if, if there were any other asset and then you will go just go ahead and select it over there so yeah guys that's it if you found this tutorial useful i would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so if you want to check it out go ahead and now yes with all i said bye bye